Now, our weekly commentary, Steel Resolve. Here's Sarah Steelman. Thanks, Kevin. As I was eating my third brownie last night, I wondered, why am I doing this to myself? I certainly don't need any more sugar. Not only will I be mad at myself after I eat it, I won't feel good. It's unhealthy. It's self-indulgent. One was enough, but no, I had to eat three. Why? It's a bad habit that I need to break. But breaking bad habits is tough. It takes discipline. There are foregone opportunity costs of foregoing the taste of a delicious brownie. We all know the bad habits of the governing class in Washington, D.C. Senator Rand Paul is right on the money, so to speak, when he talks about the budget process being broken. Passing a continuing resolution to run the government for three more weeks is no way to govern. It's a bad habit that has been allowed for too long. Rand reminds us that the normal budgeting process requires 12 separate resolutions to fund government and that they be debated individually. Now that the Republicans are breaking that bad habit of one massive CR, the entrenched interests in D.C. are having a nervous breakdown. No, it's not politics as usual. Instead, our representatives are actually fighting for what they believe is right for the country. This is a good thing. Instead of capitulating to the establishment and the so-called strategizing of political consultants who only worry about winning elections. That is the bad habit that both parties suffer from and one that needs to be broken. Instead of being self-indulgent and going for that third brownie, let's do the right thing and form new good habits of governing, even though it might hurt in the short run. Then maybe we won't find ourselves in this predicament again. This is Sarah Steelman for Serenet Radio. Tune in again next week for another segment of Steel Resolve right here on the Palin Update.